Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. And it's St. Patrick's Day, so luck of the Irish be with you. Fun fact, I grew up thinking I was Irish. I mean, technically I guess I'm Northern Irish, but I did my DNA test and I'm 61% Scottish. Scottish, English, Welsh, Swedish, 1% Irish. But my great grandparents on my mother's side came from Northern Ireland. So I still claim Ireland, Ireland, but yeah, I'm 20 or 61% Scottish. Who knew? Coffee. I'm going to the theater today with Sarah. We're going to see Mamma Mia. I'm so excited. So I got to get this done so we can go. All right, let's see what we start with. Just some little fun things, no real theme here. I got some basil seeds. I'm gonna try to start these from seed. I was at Aldi and picked up a um, grow lamp. So we'll see how that does. I'm st I did start some seeds I bought in a little bucket at the Dollar Tree right now in my window. We'll see how that goes first. But I got some seeds, these were uh, 25 cents. And then as part of my start collecting for Christmas wrapping stuff, I picked up this. It is like straw, but it comes like that. And then you just pull it apart. It doesn't take up space. Great for gift baskets, gift bags, gifting in general. So I just keep a drawer and throughout the year I stock it. I don't need it for Christmas per se. It's just white and gold. So I grabbed that. Um, I grabbed these Uno Go. I've gotten these before. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep them. Um, well, I'm going to keep them, but either use them for floss drops. Let me open this up. I'll show you how tiny they are. Um, or I'm bringing them to the airport uh, for my trip. My family and I have a substantial layover we have rules apparently there's like all kinds of house rules for uno but also i was thinking these would be fantastic little floss drops to keep your cross stitching floss and just poke holes in them so um when we go to um ireland this summer my brother and his wife, so Sarah's dad and stepmom, have a long, long layover. They're actually, we're all move, meeting in Chicago. They're in North Carolina, South Carolina. Um, but they, um, I can't get that close. They're flying into Chicago midway and have to make their way over to Chicago O'Hare. And we're meeting them. But we ended up... We only had a two-hour layover, and then they've since changed our flights, and now we have almost a five-hour layover. So, whatevs. Um, for my trip this April, I'm going to Canada. I just like these little tubes of toothpaste. They're bigger than a travel size, but they're still under the 3.4 ounces. So, if you're traveling for longer than a couple days and you need toothpaste, these are a good size at the Dollar Tree. Finding the Colgate sensitive is not always easy, but they have tons of toothpaste in this cut size. And for $1.25, it's really a bargain. And then I got this to try. So I'm going on a cruise next year in 2025 with my cousins. And if you don't know, the rooms are magnet, the walls are metal in a cruise ship. Like they are covered with some fat like wallpaper, but behind that is metal. And so this is a magnetic light. Like, oh, you turn it on and off. It takes batteries. We can open it. I wanted to test it out. So we bought or rent got an inside cabin, two or three of us, my cousins, the young cousins, and myself. And so it gets dark in there. So, oh, it has Velcro on the back you can use or magnets, which is nice. It says it has the batteries in it. Or, oh, it also can hang off this little hook or it can sit up so let's see what it looks like all right well it said the batteries were included oh nice I was like that's gonna get in my way batteries are not included I thought it 
said they were. Require, oh, not, I missed the not part. Okay, well, whatever. I'm gonna try this on the cabin wall over my bed. So if I have to get up in the night and go to the bathroom, I don't need to turn the whole light on. I can just turn this little light on. And then if I want to Velcro it, which I don't, that would go in that spot right there, which is pretty cool. If it works, I just need a little bit of light so I don't wake up the kids. Kids, they're 22 and 18 at the time we're going, but whatever. If I don't wanna wake them up. Okay, so we got that. Next up, we got, oh, this sign, I'm dying. Do I need more signs in my life? No. Oh, I just gave myself a sliver. Um, but this says heifer, please. I don't think you'll be able to see it, but it says heifer, please with a cow. Yes, I need that. I'm going to paint that right up. It's going to be a black and white cow. So I'll do some black and white. We'll paint the background. We'll do something. Maybe I'll spray paint the whole thing one color and then go over it. It's something's going to happen. Um, but yeah, heifer, please. So I grabbed that. I haven't been buying a lot of DIY stuff because I haven't had time to DIY. Ugh, I think I have a sliver in my thumb now. That's rude. Um, so yes, yeah, so I haven't decided on the Uno. I'll talk to the family. They don't always incur indulge me. Now, if you're a cross-stitcher, you'll know or containers are a thing where you put your little threads and all your little trash and I'm going to a retreat and I need this. So I'm going to paint it. And then I'm going to like decorate the crown and make it sparkly and then put my name on it. And this will be my little Oort container. Is it extra? Yes. Am I doing it? Also, yes. I'll just get rid of it. It's fine. Okay. Now, I know a lot of you had said these, and these are great for soap, dish soap. I was trying to find something smaller for my trip to Europe and my cruise because that's also out of Europe and everything is going to come down to weight. So I'll give you a little by play, but I do have a video coming up of all my travel essentials. Um, but here is the thing. Um, you always have to pack for your lowest denominator. And in my case, weight on my, for in July when I go, the weight on the smaller airline that I'm flying internally, inter-European flight, the weight for check luggage is 40 pounds, not 50. So I have to be cognizant of that. Yes, I can take a 50 pound suitcase to Ireland, but I can only have a four, unless I wanna pay 75 to hundred dollars for an overweight luggage, which I do not. So everything is about weight. Yes, this is ounces, we'll see. If the paper sheets don't work, then I can 100% fill this with dish soap to wash my cup. I just wanna wash my coffee cup because creamer. Yes, I, I don't always wash my water cup every day. I do wash the straw though, and mm, I do wash them every day, let's be truthful, but the coffee cup has cream in it, and so you gotta clean that. Anyway, um, I also got for different travel, this is a laundry bag. It's just a mesh, weighs nothing. Probably more for um, just keeping the laundry separated until I pack up to come home. So I just grabbed one of these. I'm not sure if I'll be bringing it or not, but it is a good idea to have something for your dirty clothes. Also, I'm full of it today. If you put a couple dryer sheets in a baggie and you put that in with your dirty clothes, it kind of keeps the stink down. Um, I got another one of these. I'm getting, I'm in the process of replacing a lot. I love these face washers and I use them every day. So I got two of those because I have a couple that are little sus, if you know what I mean, they gotta go. So I grab, I'm just picking up replacements when I see them. I'm at the stage in life where I need a liner and I'm gonna try these. Um, I think they're the same thing. Maybe just new packaging. They're just a daily liner. They both say very light. They were $1.25 and you get eight, um, especially for vacation. So here's the thing. In the United States, we have bathrooms everywhere, like literally everywhere. 
I found when I was in Europe, it wasn't as easy to necessarily find a bathroom. And I'm at that phase of life where when I got to go, I got to go. So just in case, I'm going to pack these with me. Um, this will be plenty for a week vacation. Um, yeah, I, I think it's self-explanatory, but what else? And then I picked these up because we're, we're deep in the middle of allergy season. And if you've never tried these, these are an equivalent to the Vicks. Last night, we had some terrible, terrible storms the last week coming through Ohio, which I need to start getting myself prepared for. But um, because storm season is here and it's early. But part of my issue, and it's my issue, is I have really bad allergies. And when the storms come through, they trigger a migraine. And sometimes, like this week, yesterday was miserable. The storms were gone, but my head hurt so bad all day long. So I was sitting there sniffing my Vicks VapoRub, which reminded me that I need... It's just essential oils. It's like mentholatum and... This is the Himalayan pink, uh, Himalayan pink salt nasal inhaler cooling natural mint oil. So it's like a mint. I got two... I don't know where I put the other one. Where'd I put it? Not in the trash, right? Oh, well. Oh, here it is. I got two. And they're mint. Oh, I showed you already. And you, I... I just smell them and it relaxes my headache. My allergist said that it's called a non traditional non something non normal migraine that I get that's triggered by my sinuses. Anyway, these are fantastic to have. Um, I have one for my purse and a backup because sometimes they're not easy to find. But they're great if you have also it's mint. So if you're getting motion sick, you can smell this and it will help. Although I also feel like if you're having some kind of a panic attack, it might help with that too. If you like the smell of mint. Anyway, there is my non-medical advice. I'm just telling you it helps me with my headaches, with my allergies. So I saw them and I grabbed them. Okay. Um, I picked up one more of these. I love to have these in my purse. They're great. Coffee all the time. Hi, Alex. Hi. What you doing? Hmm. Did you come to say hello to our friends? They love you. They love you so much and we don't see you no more. Yeah. Okay, there you go. He does not love it when I hold him. I mean, he'll sit there, but he doesn't love it. Anyway, I love these for my purse. It's probably a better deal if I just bought a big pack of them. They're just little tiny toothpaste brushes with a little tiny bit of toothpaste just to get the yuck off. They're fantastic to have in your purse if you're out and about. Um, it's a hose. My hose, so I made a faux pas and forgot to take my hose in last winter and my sprayer now has a leak. All my fault. So I grabbed this one. They're fine. I've used them before. Honestly, the only thing I use usually is shower and I water my outside plants. But I needed a new one. They had it. I got it. Um, took the space tape to work and used it fantastic I used it to hang you know those corrugated plastic yard signs I used it to hang those on a glass window fantastic you only get three feet I grabbed two more especially for work hanging things up we're not allowed to hang on the paint but I figure the glass is fine um and I can use a razor to get it off if I need to but I grabbed two more because it was fantastic. It worked really, really well. And you don't need as much as I used. Just gonna throw that out there. Um, going to the theater, so I got a snack. It's just my meat and cheese, which I can need to put in my purse. And two things left, two things left. I got an, a pot, a black one. I'm hoping this is the right size. I'm doing all of my pots are gonna be like, black and white-ish. I need to find some more white. I've got a lot of black, but um, I think if this fits, it's gonna go in a hanging basket. So I did not want the holes in the bottom. I'm just, I'm very careful when I water my hanging baskets. Um, 
that I don't overwater them. I'll put gravel in the bottom to help with drainage, but it's black. And I've been on the hunt. Every time I see them, I have, I'm looking over here because I have an array of pots. And then the last thing I picked up were these. These are cute, right? I mean, they're like, they weigh nothing. I got them for my patio when I go out back, especially if one of the pets are here, like if I have Luna, Sarah's dog, and I need to take her out back. These are fantastic. They weigh nothing. If you're going on any type of a adventure, you can throw these in your luggage and they weigh nothing. Here, I'll show you. Let's see if I can. I don't have any scissors, I don't think, over here, but looks like I can just untie this elastic. I can. Perfect. Let's put you in the trash. So they weigh nothing. Throw them together like this in your luggage. They take up no space, especially if you're going to be like anywhere camping where you have to use a shower and other people's feet have been there. For the gym, these would be great. And like I said, they weigh nothing. You can get them wet. Now, I would say they are slippery on the bottom, so you want to be careful on any type of, like, marbled pool deck or something because this is definitely slippery. I'll be wearing them on the cement, so I'm not overly worried about them, but they were $1.25. And what I like is that they're not... The flip-flops that they sell, I have a hard time with because they have that knobby thing here, and my feet are wide, and it hits it, and it hurts. These do not. Now, I will tell you, this is a women's medium, size 7, 8. I wear an eight and a half, nine, and these fit me perfectly. They are a... Alex, leave him alone. Alex, no. Come here, Debbie. You're going to see both of them today. Come here, baby. I gotta collect him. Oh, and here's Mr. Wellington. Hey, say hi to our friends. I miss you too. Yes, they are loving this weather. I've been opening windows for them. It's a little cool still to let uh, too many windows open. Okay, okay. But I do open, I have a bay window. I'll show you when I put all the plants over there, but I open up one of the windows for them because they love it. All right, friends, that is everything today that I got at the Dollar Tree. I need to decorate this. I think I'll spray paint it white. And then I have markers, oil paste markers. I may go over them and paint this up and decorate it. But then it's all painted. I'll let you see when I'm done. All right, friends, that is everything. I hope you had a fantastic day. And I will talk with you later. Bye.